sweet sounds of the 70s. Oh, I did not realize I made my makeup this intense today. <laughs> it's Saturday. I totally started this vlog really, really weird, but I'm getting ready. Um, Grant and I are about to run out and do a few things today, and I wanted to show you some of the jewelry that I got from one of the stores that we went to last weekend in, I just drew a blank. Louisville, Kentucky. Oh my gosh, my brain is dead. That first store that we went to on Sunday, Scout, Oh my gosh, I loved everything in that store. Got a couple things uh, from the little jewelry section and I actually don't know the designer. The first thing that I got that I've already worn, I wore it yesterday and I recorded a video, um, this necklace. I just love it. I don't even know what to say. This is just so cute. I'm probably gonna wear it today so you'll be able to see it on me. And then I also got some earrings. Uh, they're just like really, really thin gold wire star hoops. Are they still considered hoops if they're star shaped? I'm not sure. I obviously have not worn these yet. Maybe I'll throw these on today too. Is that a lot of jewelry? I don't care. I've been wearing a lot of jewelry lately and I am not ashamed. Oh. Is this a look? Hello, Ms. Bean. She just like bounded over here. All right, I gotta get my life together. I gotta get my clothes on and get this hair under control. Oh no, I just dropped my camera in a major way. It's a miracle if it still works after that. I just wanted to show my outfit. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. That fall was not pretty. I love the back of this top, but I'm wearing my hair down. So it's not like you could see it. <laughs> in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, so healthy. success at the mall but we also had a couple of failures <laughs> I brought some stuff that I foolishly ordered on Saks online and I was gonna return it to the store that does not exist in Dallas <laughs> I could have sworn there was one at the North Park Mall but no we brought the stuff for nothing and then Grant I, I was not alone in my failure Grant forgot all the stuff that he wanted to return Oops. but I got a top and some shorts from Zara, but I was also returning stuff from Zara, so I still got money back. And then I returned stuff at Sephora, and I didn't buy anything. Did you hear me? I did not buy anything at Sephora. I only returned things. I feel so proud of myself. And now we're about to be back at the tailor. I was at the tailor yesterday trying to pick up some pants, and one leg was shorter than the other. So I was like, um, hello? Can I come back tomorrow? And so we're back but then after this we're going to a vintage shop that i've been wanting to go to pretty much since we moved to dallas i had seen it online and then i passed by it yesterday and i was like yes this is the weekend we're making this happen <laughs> Boots for days. What do you think about putting this in the new house? Oh, what about it? All right, Grant found his boots of life, but they might not fit. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking the world. So many boots here. Which ones? How are they scooting? Are they boot scooting? Whoa, look at these. Whoa, these are cool. 
I want these, but they're not my size. It's like the tragic thing of me vintage shopping. <laughs> this is your look. Now you found it. Guess jeans. was so cool i didn't get a very good shot of the outside but it's called dolly python and it was actually connected to another spot next door but it felt like it was almost like three different stores they had clothes a ton of boots um a lot of like decor some furniture light fixtures uh it was awesome i could have stayed in there forever we were there for i think over an hour and it felt like 15 minutes and there was one lady in there that was looking around and she found like five different amazing pieces of like tiki decor and we've decided well probably not surprising we want there to be you know like a tiki moment in our new house and I was so sad that we didn't get that stuff like there was this awesome velvet painting and then I mentioned it when we were checking out I was like do you guys get like a lot of tiki stuff and she said that that lady is opening a tiki bar in Fort Worth. So it's nice to know there's a new tiki bar coming that's gonna have some cool decor, um, but it's gonna be all the way in Fort Worth, which is kind of sad, but it's still cool that it's coming. It's nice to know because the DFW desperately needs a new tiki bar. Yeah. Grant tried on those boots that seemed like they were like destined to be his, but he ended up not getting them. Do you regret it? No, I don't think so. He's I would, not sure. They had fit. They were just too big. Grant yeah. lives for boots. But it's true. It's true. <laughs> is looking real good today. Is that Cindy Crawford? No, no, it's me. Since we're always in a huge rush before church, this is the after church outfit of the day before I get changed to cook. I got this dress back when I did uh, Georgetta's bridal shower. So it feels like forever ago, but it actually wasn't that long ago. And I think it's still available on Amazon. It's really comfortable. Obviously there is a lot going on. There are ruffles everywhere. And I tried to get a shot of it in the car. It was shining in the light. So pretty. Um, there's like kind of silver metallic thread all over the place and it's really pretty and I'm out of breath and I don't know why. <laughs> this week I used my regular self tanner on my upper body and I used a different one on my legs and as you can see my legs are way 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 more pale and it looks so weird in pictures. We took a picture yesterday and it was just like I don't know if I can even use this. I look like I am a completely mismatched person. 
I feel like Esmeralda. You were Esmeralda on that? Okay. Mm-hmm. It means something. It means something, that's true. <laughs> hey girl. Don't have any new blooms to show you guys today, but I had some through the week and I always share those on my Instagram story. I don't I don't know if anybody cares, but I always share them. Um, over here is where we put out our wildflower seeds and obviously we were making a lot of progress, but there are no blooms or anything and I can't really identify which part of it are weeds because we have a lot of weeds happening um, and which part are hopefully gonna be wildflowers, so. I don't know, I guess like that's a weed, but I think that's a wildflower. If a plant likes sun, they're gonna be very happy out here. Today, I'm taking on a recipe that makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, again, it's a home chef recipe. I, We've been loving these, and I saw yesterday on the app, I've done like 45 recipes, which is kind of crazy, because they're all different. Like, yes, you are kind of cheating because they send you all the ingredients, but, the fact that I've made 45 different things, it makes me really happy. But today, this one is like an expert level one and I usually don't do expert ones. Not that I like pick the recipes based on the difficulty level, but I just don't end up with expert ones as much. This one is gonna be fried chicken with chipotle lime aioli. The very first time we did Home Chef. Home Chef. <laughs> home Chef. <laughs> Home chef. My audience. <laughs> the first time we did Home Chef, we fried fish for tacos. And that went really well, but it was kind of tricky and Grant helped me a lot. But today, I'm taking this one on solo. Let's do this. I'm hungry. She's a hungry elf. What'd you call me? A hungry elf. Look at this shirt Grant's wearing. Hey. Hey. Keep your options open. This is the t-shirt that he got for his graduation in Houston, right? Yeah. They all got Tommy Bahama t-shirts. I got a Tommy Bahama t-shirt and like a cabana shirt. Oh, I don't remember that part. Yeah. It I'm is. Yeah. You're doing it though. Grant's doing the sides over here. Alright, we got the master serving the sides. Fake potatoes. Master chef of the fake potatoes. <laughs> you don't really like barbecue sauce, so. I like barbecue sauce. Do you? What do you mean? Do you even know me? No. Uh oh, Miss Luna Bean, are you feeling left out? All right, now we gotta do a taste test. All right, Grant, you gotta do the maiden voyage. Da, na, na. <laughs> Delicious. Is it really though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I usually just give Grant's first impression, but I'm gonna do mine this time. Welcome to Flavor Town. It's actually like real fried chicken. I did it. You did an amazing job. What is going on in here? Bedlam. What? We've got a man inspired to clean out his closet. We need a fashion show. Uh-oh, he's ready. No fashion shows, <laughs> no fashion shows. You have to try everything on and see if it sparks joy. <laughs> Hello, that's how it works. I'm a pro, can't you tell? <laughs> Look at that. That's bedlam over here. It used to be all color coordinated, and I just let that go. Last time I did a clean was when I moved to LA and I threw away all the wrong stuff. What do you mean you threw away all the There's wrong so stuff? There's so much stuff that I, like, looking back, I was like, oh, I wish I still had that. Why did you throw this stuff away? Uh, a lot of it, well, I couldn't only if... <laughs> I, oh, because you couldn't ship it all? Yeah. Oh, I, no, Grant. I, like, was maxed out on my budget and I could only afford so much stuff so I was like out of room and out of space and stuff. Yeah, you've really built up your collection. Here's the newest one. I got this one for, for him just recently. Bananarama! Banana baby! And I have a matching dress. That's a big shout out to Khaki right there because she sent me the link to those. She was like, um, pretty sure you guys are gonna be all over this and I immediately ordered. It was actually like a whole family outfit. I think there were many different versions of everything for every member of the family and I think there were even two different dress options, but I got one. 
I held back. Whoa, I turned around for like two seconds to post something on my story and boom. Done. This man has made some major progress. I think I'm gonna get some tubs for my winter stuff. Oh, this man loves a tub. You don't even know. <laughs> it's about that tub life. Tub life. Tub dude. So all, all this is going out? Uh, no, that pile is more tub stuff. Tub stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of tub stuff. Uh-oh. This man, tub stuff, tub stuff. Don't even want to know. All right, I just came outside to the backyard because um, it's so light outside and it feels so good outside. I'm gonna plant these little plants that I got at Target. Uh, I showed these on my main channel. I did like a Target Sephora J. Crew haul and these were thrown in there. Uh, they come in these self-watering pots and I got French marigold, in case you didn't see that video, and I got two polka dot plants. They have a whole bunch of different plant varieties. I couldn't find them online, but you could probably find them in store. Uh, I just thought they were cool because they're kind of like a little DIY, and they're a plant. I guess all planting is DIY, but you've got your soil, plant food, the little cup that goes up top, and it's about half the length, so that you can have water on the bottom, and it sucks up the water through these little nylon ribbons. Got our seeds, so I'm about to do this. French marigold. Bloop. Who it is? We got a man out here. What's going on down here? Part of my plants. I got the French marigold done, and then I just have two more to go. You about to grill? Yep. About to blow up the whole house tonight. Growing. Whoa. I gotta MacGyver this. There you go. Da da. Got it. This one's done. Whoa, the master chef is at it again. Where's the daddies? Looking good. Oh, right, I do not know what I did to deserve all this, but I am really excited. I won the husband mega millions. Powerball. <laughs> Wait, what did my mom say? High on the hog? Living high on the hog. We are living high on the hog today for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is it. We're eating good in the neighborhood. Ding. 